We thank God for being before you right now and before God. We are going to go into a time of uh, wedding people. And we want to bless them before God. Uh, they have been living together for a while. Uh, but they want to uh, put it in order and legalize the marriage before God. Normally, people don't know the value of this thing, this act. Uh, a marriage that is blessed by God lives for a long time. In the book of Psalms 127, Psalms 127 from verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labor the labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Amen. Amen. Joseph, he dendereza a Marie Viola Karubgenge. We are going to wed them shortly. But I want to just remind you some principles that uh, uh, regard the family. Today we're going to do three things, so please bear with us. We are going to wed people. And we're going to show you people got baptized today. We're going to pray for uh, pastors. And, and then at the end, we'll pray for various prayer requests. And when we finish, uh, at the end, we're going to ask people from Zion Temple in Gothenburg. Uh, please stay behind those who are members of Yodebo Zan Temple and those who want to be members of Yodebo Zan Temple. We have a small announcement to give you no less than, no more than 20 minutes. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, unless the Lord builds the house, what does that mean? Everything has builders. In the morning, we were at the beach baptizing people. I went on the rocks and went all the way to the peak of the rocks. And then I could see the water on the ground before me. And I could see the small boats in the sea. As I continued to look at the boat, I realized that that is the hand of man that created or made those boats. A man or a person made the boat. That people can use to cross over from one side to the other side. That's the wisdom of man. There, many, there were many boats who, that were at the seashore. So when those boats have a problem, the person that made those boats, they give them back the, their boats and they repair the boats. 
Because they are the ones that made the Volvo. Here in Sweden, you have a brand called Volvo, a car called Volvo. Volvo so Volvo is a creation of the Swedes. Benz Mercedes Benz is a creation of the Germans. Toyota Toyota is a creation of the Japanese. Lincoln is a creation of Americans. A very good car. So when one of those cars fails or breaks down, it's taken back to its garage where it was made. Is that not the truth? I own a Toyota where I live in America. That car I bought it at the Toyota garage. It has its own guarantee of many years. When it's time for it to be serviced, I always see a message from uh, the garage. And they tell me, time has come so you can bring your car to be serviced. That's what they tell me. And I take my car to be serviced. Uh, the car itself on the, on the dashboard it tells me you, you are remaining a short time for the car to be serviced. What does that mean? The garage that uh, made my car, it uh, looks after the car because it's them that made the car. That's how it happens. Urugo. With marriage. Urugo. Marriage was created by God. Just like Volvo goes into a garage of Volvo, that's the same as when marriage breaks down. It has to go, it has to go back to God for it to be repaired. Amen. Amen. Can you hear me? Please, don't bring water here. Just remain there. Please. 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 Do you, do you get me? Yes. Donc, so, urugo, marriage, ni propriété privée. It's a private property of God. Urugo sugo ba psikolog. A marriage is not for psychologists. Urugo sugo ba sociolog. Marriage is not for sociologists. No. No. I cannot take my Volvo, a Volvo car to a Honda garage. No. No. One day I drove my car. Where my Toyota garage is, there is another garage that is besides it. 
I did not read. I would, so I drove into that next door garage. As soon as I entered, it was a, a Nissan garage. When I reached there, they welcomed me. I entered. They asked me, have you ever been here before? I, I said, every time I come here, and they asked me, are you sure you really came here? I said, yes, I came here. They said, yeah, really? Very kind, very politely. And then they asked me, do you know what garage you are in? I said, yes. And I said, what garage is it? Toyota. They asked me what garage is it, and they said, it's a Toyota garage. Sir. And they told me, sir, you have a mistaken the we garage. We garage. No. I said, no. Ni Toyota. It, this is a Toyota garage. They told me, no, this is a Nissan garage. Daddy. So I looked around. Oh, I saw all the signs of Nissan. And I said, I'm so sorry. And I said, oh, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. And he told me, it's not just you, many people mistake these two garages. Because I couldn't go back, they told me, go in, but go and turn around and continue and then go to your garage. That's what I did. I drove and turned around and I went. When I reached my garage, I saw my name there on the screen, Mr. Gitwaza, you're welcome. The way the car entered, when they saw my plate, there on the screen in front of me, I had a, a rendezvous at uh, 10 a.m. Mr. Gitwaza, welcome. And they said, Mr. Gitwaza, you're welcome. Ah, and then I breathed and I said, this is where I'm supposed to be. So that's the problem many people have. When they have marital problems, they take it to Nissan. When it's Toyota, that solves their problems. The problem of your marriage, it's not all these people you keep telling. It's God. One person called me a long time ago. Uh, Somebody asked me, my, my child is asking me to divorce their father. And I said, are you crazy? They were coming, back, coming from Africa. They were in these nations that you live in. They told me, my uh, my child told me uh, so my child told me every, everybody at school their parents don't live together one lives on one side of the city and the one lives on the other side so the children spend a week here and a week there I want to do the same the other children say, today is my, mama, my mom that brought me. And the next week is my dad that brought me. And they live separately. And mom, please separate as well. And, and she said, child. And tomorrow the child came back. And the next week the child came back. The child refused to eat. <laughs> and they said, I will eat when you have divorced. They told the social worker, and the social worker said, it's very easy. You, you know those people as well. <laughs> you take your problem to who? Do you have social workers here? <laughs> no, They also have social workers. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the social worker said you have to take your child to a psychologist they went 
Wacha kwa psikolog. When they reach the so, the psychologist. Psikolog. Psychologist. Umwana ntakirya. The child does not sleep. Doribza tubwira ni. This is what the child says to us. Ati none. And now. Hasha ko dutanduka. The child wants us to separate. The sociologist said you have to listen to your child. Mm. Mm. I said, yes. In order for the child to be at peace in, a, in their mind, uh, let the child have good health. You separate. So the wife looked at the sociologist. Uh, 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 yes, the wife looked at the sociologist, uh, the psychologist, sorry. You're telling us to separate. <laughs> and the psychologist said, I've, I've, I've divorced four times. What's the problem? What is the problem? <laughs> the wife I have now is the fourth. Oh, yeah, husband. <laughs> the husband I have is the fourth husband. No, no. Now, they, they wrote down as a, a psychologist the problem of the child, the parents have to separate. So they called me, the parents called me. At that time, I was in Rwanda. The phone rang. It was one of a number from one of your countries that I'm not going to mention. They said, please help us. We have a huge problem. What's the problem? And then they told me the whole story again. So the psychologist, the sociologist, the social worker, they're all asking us to do this thing. So we don't know what to do. I said, is that the truth? Are you with that child? They said, yes, we have the child with us. Give me the child on the phone. I said, child, you want your parents to separate? And the child said, yes. I said, okay. They're not going to separate in the name of Jesus. So I told the parents to lay their hands on the child. And I chased out the demon of divorce. I cast out the demon of divorce in the name of Jesus. So come on, man. Get out of the child. I was in Africa. <laughs> he, the, the parents were in the country here in Europe that I was about to mention. <laughs> When I prayed, the child <laughs> fell on the floor. <laughs> and the parents said, oh, our child fell on the floor. <laughs> and I said, don't worry, it's the demon leaving the child. Get up. <laughs> the, ch the child started kicking up with their legs. <laughs> A few moments later, the child came back. The demon left that child. From that day, the child never repeated the same stories again. And from that day, the child became well. The parents had peace. And at school, they had peace. The social worker came back again tomorrow. The next day, sorry. Did you do what I told you to do? And they said, ask the child again. Do you want your father and mother to separate? Oh, yeah. The child said, no. no. I want my parents to stay together. <laughs> the social worker got angry. <laughs> and the social worker said, what did you do to your child? The child was <laughs> fine when I left them. Now, what happened to them? Yesterday, the child was fine. Now, I'm, I'm coming back. You have brainwashed the child. And the parents said, no, just ask the child yourself. 
And they, they asked the child, what did, they, did your parents do to you? The child said, I had the demon and they left. And the social worker said, what's that? And the, and the child said he's a, a pastor from Africa that prayed and the demon left. Do you know what I did? So I gave back that family to the one that created it. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labor in vain who built it. In America one day, I was in a conference like this. At the end, I found a person waiting for me. Uh, they said to me, somebody's waiting for you. They want to speak to you. It was a very important person. To reach this person, they want, uh, I had to go to a different hotel, different to mine. That's where the person was. And his hotel, to enter it, so to get to his room, he had to go into the basement, go in the car park in the basement, and then there's a lift in the basement that goes straight to the room. Zolan, praise the Lord. Amen, my brother. How are you? Praise the Lord, Zolan. Uh, and then, what did I see? I entered into the lift. When I reached to his room, the in his room, to his room, the lift enters his room. So the lift opened in his room and I entered. I found that in the room, the CCTV cameras that was watching me as I was coming up in the lift. He was a great scientist to work with uh, uh, great organizations. In his blog, there was a, a lot of research that they didn't want to steal, so it was protected. So he had protection, he had guards around him. Me and that person sat down and we conversed. For three hours, we had a conversation. After he told me, he, fir he first asked me who I was and we conversed. He said to me that he followed my teachings. And he said, I see many people following you. But especially his wife. I wondered to myself, what did my wife like? I've given her everything. Why does she follow you? It, make, it makes me want to be crazy. So I want to know, who are you really? Uh, and then I want to know why my wife and my children follow you so much everywhere on TV. You're there in my house. I turn around, you're there. Why? Why? What, what have you got? It was, a, it was around 2006. <laughs> so it, we didn't have the online platforms. It was DVDs that were going around at the time. And in the last minute, he had, he, he had four PhDs and amongst them maths and physics. He worked for the organizations like NASA and many other big organizations. And he said, 
after speaking with you, what I really wanted to know, I studied a lot, but I really want to know how do you make, how do you maintain a marriage? Because there's no mathematics in this. I tried everything I could. But I cannot maintain my marriage. So please answer me this question. I asked him, do you believe the word of God? He said no. But whatever can help me maintain my marriage, I can accept it. I said, okay. So I asked him, if we just read the Bible, would you believe that this can save your marriage? And he said, first read, let me hear. So I brought him to Psalms 127. Unless the Lord builds, they labor in vain who build it. It's, it's not scientists who, build, who maintain marriages because they have failed at marriages. The greatest possible scientist we, we can all think of is Albert Einstein. But he failed at marriage. The greatest philosopher Socrates Wow, he had a, a wife who was so difficult who fed him urine at night. Nelson Mandela. The great Nelson Mandela. He left prison. He, he, to find his wife sleeping with other men in other hot, in different hotels. I kept town. He was in Cape Town. His wife had gone to New York. He, he found out that she was sleeping with another man. So he called her. The man, the man she was sleeping with. The man she was sleeping with picked up the phone, not knowing it was Nelson Mandela, and he spoke to the uh, the man that was sleeping with his wife. And then they divorced. It's not greatness that maintains marriages. It's not money that maintains marriages. It's not great wisdom that maintains marriages. It's not psychologists that maintain marriages. It's not social workers that maintain marriages. It's not living in Sweden that maintains your marriage. It's not living in Norway that maintains your marriage. No. Garage ya mariage the, ni the garage for your marriage is God. Garage ya mariage. The garage for your uh, marriage himself ima. Ni wewe nyine God. Kuko ni wewe washize ubukwe bwa mbere umugore numugabo ni wewe abahuje. Ababira bagira umuntu umwe. Because he brought together the first couple two he made one. Ngumva majambo mvuga. The one who hears my words and put it into practice. They shall be like a man building the house on a rock. Oh, hallelujah. They'll be like a person building their house on a rock. The rain comes. What is the rain? The world's pressure. All the pressure and the problems. Problems. They fell on that house. The wind came. What are the winds? All the words of people gossip. All the rumors are there. All the problems of people. They all fell upon that house. All the flood came. They fl uh, flowed on that house. What are the floods? The financial crisis. Mental. Mental crisis. Crisis. Social. Social crisis. Crisis in life. They all fell apart. But it was built on the rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
And he was strong and he was, he was maintained. All the winds. And they said, you know what? This man is great. This house is great. And they said, leave this. Let's go to Abel. B. Uh, to be rather. B was built on sand. B did not dig upon the rock. B had built the big house on the sand by the beach. What is sand? It's a house built on materialistic things. It's a house built on just on beauty. What is sand? It's a house built on intellectualism. What is sand? It's a marriage built on families. What is sand? It's a, a marriage built on the worldly reputation. Uh, and you say to yourself, maybe I should marry that girl. Because they have money in their family. It's not the girl that you want to marry, it's the money from her family. And you say, wow. Wow. <laughs> you say to yourself, wow, what a handsome young man. Maybe I should get married to that young man. But everybody sees that they're handsome. There's a thousand people waiting. You think, you think you're the only one that sees that they're good looking. You find more competition. Amen. Amen. That's the sand. Is building on the minds of men. So the rain came upon this house. So the, the rain came and couldn't beat the house on the rock. Yes, Jesus says, the rain came, the flood came, the wind came, when the, and suddenly the whole house tumbled down. And, and the fall of that house was great. It was great, or Gador in Hebrew. The fall of that house was Gador. Meod Gador. Very great. But today, there's a Today, there's a family that said, no, we want to transfer our home from sand to the rock. There's still a possibility that your marriage could do the same transfer. You have not missed your chance yet. Do you hear this? Before I came here, I reached at the airport in Dallas. When I went to the counter, when I looked at the app of American Airlines, I saw that my flight was going to be delayed. And I had to go from Dallas to Chicago, Chicago to Paris. And the flight from Dallas to Chicago was delayed. Chicago, uh, by the time it would reach Chicago, the flight to Paris would have left me. When I reached the counter, I told the lady at the counter, I told her, I can see on my app that the flight will be delayed. So what are you going to do for me? 
And she said, please bear with me. Let's have a look. She had a look. She had a look. She had a look. She had a look. You're going to miss it. And she, and she said, oh, wow, you're going to miss your flight. Don't okay. I said, okay. Had a chance, eh? Is there any other chance or possibility? She said, I don't know, but let me have a look. Now, uh, but also you, your marriage still has a chance. You don't know what brought me here today. It's for you to have a second chance. That was a chance. I asked, is there another chance, a second chance? She said, I don't know. She picked up her phone. <laughs> rang. <laughs> the number 800 was difficult to pick up. She rings 800. 30 minutes still on the phone waiting. Others, others who were behind me went to other counters because they were waiting. I asked her, what are you doing? And she, um, she said, I'm trying to ring people to see who can change your flight, but the line is so busy. Oh, I said, oh, it's okay. I said, it's possible that there's still another chance. After an hour, she told me, can you accept uh, you want me to we want me to put you in a group of one world where you can take different flights not just American airlines and I said where is this flight coming from and she told me it's going to go from Dallas straight to London but are you going to accept this? And, I said, <laughs> and in my heart, I said, This girl, <laughs> if they can put me in what I, I just need to leave this place, whatever means I need to leave. I need to leave. Denmark. Because I had to preach in Denmark. And I had to leave Denmark to come here in Yodebo. And she pleaded with me. I said, yes, I can, make, I can travel, it's fine. And on the phone she said, yes, he's accepted. And she, she typed in her computer, typed in her computer. And then she printed me my boarding pass. And she said, but this boarding pass... It's not going to work. Go to Terminal D. I was on Terminal C. The Fort Worth, the Fort Worth Dallas Airport. It's, it's not like this airport that you have here. The one you see here that you have, that's just like Terminal A in Dallas. B, C, D. So imagine your airport four times. So where I, where I was, in order to go from C to D, it requires me to take a, 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 small, a, a tramway. But because by chance, my son had drove me to the airport and he refused and he said he's going to wait for me to board. I said, please go, bo go, go. She, he was with my sister. And my sister said, no, I'm going to wait for you to board and then your son is going to wait. <laughs> and <I> thought, <laughs> because I'm used to go by myself, I told her, please go, it's fine, I'll be fine. But she insisted. Okay. So all that took place when I was with my sister. So the lady on the counter, she told me this. 
departure. You have very few minutes before that flight departs also. If you fly, I don't know how you're going to get to Terminal D, but just make it to Terminal D. I looked at my sister. I said, wow, the Holy Spirit spoke to you. I said, okay. I went quickly back to my car. So a car is very quicker. So it had first it would require me to go on the escalators and then on the train on the tram, but the car was very easy. So my son drove me to Terminal D and then I reached there and I entered. I went to the counter. They looked. They typed in the computer and they said go. And they entered the flight. And then I had my second chance. My first chance, I missed my flight to Chicago. Chicago to Paris. I missed but God gave me another chance. I should, my second chance was not going to another American state, but was straight from Dallas to Europe. That means that the second chance you're about to receive has an exceptional acceleration. Amen. Amen. God, only God builds the house. Swedes builds Volvos and God builds marriages. <laughs> So imagine going to a Volvo mechanic and say, my wife and I, we're not understanding it the same. Yo. Yo. When we was in Tel Aviv, I reached there before the group came that I was supposed to go with. I, I like to walk by the beach in Tel Aviv. I saw a pregnant woman, a Jewish woman. Uh, she heard me on the phone speaking French to someone on, on the phone. The woman came running. She was pregnant. She said, please, please, please. I turned around. I have a problem with my mother-in-law. I'm going to go crazy. I said, I don't know this woman. I'm just walking by the beach. She's pregnant. Her belly's up to here. But she just heard me speaking a little bit of French. Please, please, please. I used to live in France. But my wife, my husband is Jew. I live, I live in the same house as my mother-in-law. I'm about to go crazy. I stopped and I said, oh. I said, what happened? My husband only listens to his mother. She, she says, A, he does A. She says, B, he does B. You can see me, I'm black. She is a white lady. She is pregnant. She just heard me speak a little French. She, she don't know if I'm a thief, if I'm a bandit. She doesn't know me at all. She doesn't know who I am. She just had a lot of sorrow. But she didn't have anybody to tell her sorrow to. And then I had a bit of time. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. Do you love your husband? <laughs> she said, I love him so much, but my mother-in-law loves him and takes him away from me. I said, oh, when did this start? The day we arrived in, in Israel, we went to her house. And then I started seeing things that I do not understand. The, the, the mother will bring him food when I'm here. And then she'll come and grab his shoulders and say, my son, have you ate? And I said, but, just bear with me a second. That's his mother. She gave birth to him. 
na urumukobwa bakwi mu musozi ukaviri uviri yurasa you are a foreigner you just uh, you just came into that family uwo mu mama that mother umugabo afite imyaka ingahe how old is your husband he, he is 32 mwabe yanye rya when did you know each other imyaka itatu there's been 3 years oh oh nina the the mother amuzi imyaka 32 the mother has known him for 32 years wo muzi bibiri you know him over just 3 years urumva rero kugira ngo na umumukureho imyaka 33 so for you to take him away from his mother you just you have 3 years wait another 30 years she said i'm going to go crazy she said 30 i said 32 take away 3 how many do you have left 29 29 he had 29 years <laughs> so i said please bear with him for 29 years every year he's going to come back to you come back to you slowly she said no she said is that how it is <laughs> she said tomorrow i'm taking a flight back to home i said no you're pregnant how many months are you pregnant she said seven months i said you cannot board the flight at seven months <laughs> she said if i have to wait 29 years i'm taking a flight tomorrow i said no what i'm trying to tell you is this it's because there's a, a big link with his mother the bond is too strong breaking it is very hard but let me ask you this question are you saved she said but, but i was born my grandmother she was catholic my grandmother was catholic but my mother and father no because my mother is jewish they go to the jewish culture and uh, my husband goes into the synagogues but it doesn't interest me but I told them, let me tell you a secret to, of, to marriage. So I told her about Jesus. I told her to be saved. <laughs> so you're telling me that if I get saved, my mother-in-law will leave the house. <laughs> if I get saved and I receive Jesus, I will find Jesus had kicked having kicked her out. I'm ready to receive Jesus as long as he kicks out my mother-in-law. Anyway, anyway. anyway, it's a long story. So I, we prayed with her, she received salvation, and then I gave advice on how she's going to be patient until uh, God gives them their own house. But what did God help her with in that moment? She met a mechanic of marriages. I'm a servant of God. I am here to repair marriages. The owner of the garage is not the one that, uh, who is the mechanic. The owner of the garage has mechanics. So in the kingdom of God, because marriage is of God, we are the mechanics uh, who fix marriages. Yeah, yes. we fix marriages. <laughs> Amen. Let me ask Joseph Nidendereza Maria Viola Karubgenge to come forward. Karibu. Please come forward. They've been living together for 22 years. How many children do you have? They have four children together. Uh -huh. They have their three children here today. Please come forward.
You're lucky to see the marriage of your mother and father. Please stand behind them. We did not see when our parents got married. Who saw their mother get married here? These ones have seen their mother and father get married. They're going to see a blessing of God in their family. What's your name? Joy. She's called Joy. Linda. She's called Linda. William. 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 Amen. 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 The fourth is not here. So look at the things of God, how wonderful they are. God has given them children. But they weren't lucky enough to give their marriage to God. But today, we are going to pray for them. And that their marriage be given to God. What's going to take place here? They're receiving a second chance to place their marriage upon a rock. When they encounter problems, Joseph is not going to run to the pubs and bars to finish the, his problems and stresses. I'm running away from my wife. Here. Please give me a one bottle because I'm going crazy. The wife is not going to say, This man, I'm sick of him. She's not going to be sick of him. Because when they have a problem, they will take the key, the car, which is the both knees, and take them to the garage. So they'll hold hands and kneel down. They'll hold hands and kneel down. They'll kneel by the bedside and they say, God, fix our marriages. And the God of heaven will fix their marriage. Today, the things of all the problems has finished. Why? They were built upon the sand. But from today, I'm telling you, they're going to be built upon the rock. They're going to be built on the rock. This man called me when I was in America. I want, you, I want to find you wherever you will be. Tell me where and when I will find you. I told, I told him I'll have good news for you. I'm coming to Denmark. And I said, I'm coming to Denmark to find you there. Where do you live? I asked him. As he told me he lives in Sweden. Sweden. I told him I'm also coming but to Sweden. Sweden. And he said, praise be to God. But I'm, I'm ready to find you wherever you may be. Me and my wife. And by coincidence, I was coming here. Do you see how that God is a good God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I called Alice. Alice. Alice, this is the number of Joseph. Joseph, Joseph. this is the number of Alice. Speak to one another and how we're going to no, meet. Now they've came today. We are going to wed them right now. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hey. Oh. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy because of this act. I thought there would be many others who want to get married as well. But let's do it for these two today. If you want to get married, look, search for me. These two, they really searched for me. Now we have met today. May God bless you. Please look at each other. So open the ring, open the box. Please go take a picture and be a witness of the marriage of your mother and father.
Because they were living together, I'm not going to do a, a long ceremony. I'm just going to speak briefly on the rings. And then I'm going to make them repeat a, a vow. And then we're going to pray for them. And then we're going to, it will be binding them and anchoring them like a boat to the seashore. Amen. Before I put these rings on them, the Bible says, um, a husband, love your wife. Wife, uh, honor your husband. Submit to your husband. What does this mean? God has given a man so much love. Wish so much. He has to have straws. Canal. Can, uh, canals, Channel. channels, sorry. <laughs> ha- but unless you put channels that go straight to the wife, the love will go everywhere. Do you hear this? It has to have one channel that goes straight to the wife. Unless you put a channel for the love, because it's so much the man will go give their love to everywhere they go. That's what the, the Bible says, man, love your wife. And wife, God has given them a heart to uh, to submit. When when a husband loves the wife, and the the wife will submit. And the Bible says, "Submit to your husband." And as the church submits to Christ, and the wife, unless unless you. Put her and to submit to you, she will submit to any person going by. They don't know how can you move her. So that also needs a channel of submitting to their husband. Also, another thing, a house that is built on a rock, it bears with everything, is patient with all things. When there is rain, crises, problems, no money, sickness, there is patience. When you're not patient, you pray. When you're not patient, you divorce because so many things can cause you to divorce. But a person is patient. There's no household or marriage that has no problems. Because no angels get married on earth. All of us here, we are people. We can get tired because we're not angels. If you say, I'm leaving you, I'm going to take someone else. Okay. But unfortunately, your second spouse is also a human. They're not an angel. What does that mean? Only angels only an angel can get married, but they have to stay in heaven. And if they just spend two nights here on earth, they will change. Maraika. An angel, the Bible says that the children of God came, the sons of God came on the earth in Genesis 6. When the sons of God came on the earth, these were angels. 
After a couple of days, they started looking at the women on the earth. And they start looking at the shapes and sizes of women on the earth. And they said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Those were angels. <laughs> Just, just a few days on earth and they were corrupted. <laughs> and then they started sleeping with daughters of men. This earth, to live on this earth, the only, there's only one secret. It's Christ living in you. Christ in you he has overcome the world and he will overcome this world for you. The Christ in you, you shall overcome this world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your love will be great when it's in Christ. Your submission will be great when you're in Christ. Aimez vos femmes comme dans le Seigneur. Love your wives as in the Lord. Mukundire murinde. Love them in the Lord. No mukundira mumubiri. If you love them in the flesh, you will encounter other people with smaller sizes. And you will start saying, oh wow, the different sizes. But if you love them in Christ, Praise be to God. Love your wife in Christ. Or uh, submit to your husband in Christ. Amen. Amen. Let me ask uh, Sir Joseph. Joseph, are you going to Joseph, are you going to love your wife in all the seasons you're going to live with him? Yes or no? He said yes. The Bible says nothing will separate us apart from death. Are you ready to separate with your wife with death or the coming back of Christ? Yes, I accept. Amen. The Bible says a man shall leave his parents and go live with his wife and they shall be one. He has accepted. Marie Viola. Marie Viola, is this your husband you have chosen? You will live with them forever? Yes or no? She said yes. I know you've been patient with your husband, but now are you going to continue to be patient with him in the Lord? Yes or no? She said yes. So for that reason, I too, so what you just did, these vows you just made, we are going to bind them with this ring that has no beginning and no end. Let, don't allow anybody to come between you two. Do you, do you see the ring he's wearing? No, not even a small finger of a baby can go between that ring and me. That's my wife's ring and she has placed it there. So let nobody come between you, you two. So please place this ring on her finger. Repeat, I'm putting, putting this ring on you. As a sign of love. That we have. I will not deceive you. May the Lord help Amen. me. Amen. Amen. I'm putting this ring on you as, as a sign of love that we have together. The vow that we've made today, I will not depart from it. 
will not harm you. May God help me. Amen. 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 So bring me two chairs. Zero piano. So zero piano. Are we in your mind? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ndasawa. Let me ask Pastor Desiree to come forward. Church, please rise. Stand up. Pastor Roda, please come forward. Pastor Claudine, please come forward. Come, let's pray. Please hold hands. Children, please come and stand. Somebody help them take photos. Please come and stand behind your parents. So let's pray for them. Father Lord, in Eden you put together Adam and Eve we thank you for you have done this today. You bring in together Joseph and Mary here. We thank you for your God. We thank you for you do work. The, those that were two, you have made them one. They shall have the same mind, the same spirit, the same plans. They shall agree in all things. To work together in all things. Protect them from evil. We place their home on the rock. When the floods came, come, when the rain comes, when the winds blow, let it be over defeated in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for you have built the home together with their children. They're going to build there tomorrow. Let them do great things. Let this family give them great in the flesh and in the spirit in their home in the name of Jesus change their history let love increase let peace increase let tranquility increase in their life thank you that two have become one the blessings of two who have become one let it be double over their lives let their health be well the years they have remaining to live let them live together in happy and in peace in the name of Jesus Amen, Amen. let's clap for Jesus Let me give you your marriage certificates. Please come by. Pastor Roda, 
Pastor Rota, please come and sign for us as a witness. Pastor Desire, Pastor Desire, please sign as a witness. Please, you may sit down. We're giving them a certificate, a marriage certificate, before God. May God bless them. Amen. Amen. Today, from the 6th of June, in the year of 2023, in Yodebor, in Sweden, we are proclaiming that Joseph Nidendereza, Joseph Nidendereza Maria Viola, and Mar- Maria Viola, Karugenge, Karugenge, they have built their marriage in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Pastors, you may be sat down. Let's uh, give the mother just one minute to tell us something. Yes, Ashimne. Praise be to God. Yes, Ashimne. Yeah, you can go. Uh, I re- greet you in the name of Jesus, uh, our Lord. I have so many, much to say. Uh, because of joy. I feel so much joy in my heart. Today God has done great things for us. I had been waiting for this for so many years. God has done so many great things for us today because our marriage is going to be built on the rock. It had been a long journey uh, that we encountered so many winds but God has continued to support us so today I'm thanking God on my two feet and God may know that I'm thanking him please help me say hallelujah church of God hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. I just want quickly to thank God. I won't take too much of your time. I saw Apostle Apostle praying for us many times. Uh, And these dreams have come to pass today. God speaks many different ways. Uh, if you, you need to be patient with God and your time will come to reap. So, today is a day of great joy. Uh, today was a day of great joy my husband got baptized my children got baptized I even got baptized for a second time so you can imagine it's a great joy in our household I thank Apostle Paul Dikwaza may God bless him who has allowed to do this thing for us amongst many things that he has to do may God bless him and I thank Mama Alice that God has used and everybody else that has supported us God bless you thank you so much and I also thank my husband who has accepted to live with me for the rest of our lives thank thank you so much let me stop here God bless you
Murakoze cyane. Thank you so much. Baguma hakuko tugiye gukomeza gahunda y'ababatijwe muze hari imbere mwese ababatijwe mwihute vuba. Everybody that got baptized please come forward very quickly. Nimuze, muze. Please come forward quickly. Habatijwa abantu uyu munsi 21. Uh, 21 people got baptized today. Oh, makumyabiri na babiri. Imani ni ziza chani. Mwe yeso, mashime. 22 people got baptized today. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these people got baptized today. Oh, glory belongs to God. All glory belongs to God. Clap your hand for God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm a certif your certificate. Mukanjima, that's your certificate. Finland. She's came from Finland. She's came to get baptized. Shortly she'll go back to the flight. May God bless you. Joseph Joseph May God bless you so much. Is there any photographers? Okay. May God bless you. Marie Viola Karubwengi. Marie Viola. And God bless you. Noela Irangu Nandaishimi. Noela Irangu Nandaishimi. God bless you. Imane Gomujish. God bless you. Aline Nyatani. Aline Nyatani. Karibu. Amen. May God bless you. Alexinda Kize. Alexinda Chize. Ejide Kivange. Ejide Kivange. Linda Lilian. Linda Lilian. William Jefferson Majambere. William Jefferson Majambere. Yasine Grass. Yasine Grass. Leslie Shalom. Leslie Shalom. Jesse Darren. Jesse Darren. Jaim Love. Jaim Love. Ooh. Oh. Ella Twahirwa. Ella Twahirwa. Beggy Bean of Ziza. Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve. Megan Umiza. Megan Umiza. Uwera Odette Sonis. Uwera Odette. Karekezi Samuela. Karekezi Samuela. Oh. Hallelujah. Umulisa Edija. Umulisa Edija. Um, 
Jamila Joy Mwiteneza. Jamila Joy. Let's take picture with Benjamin, all the cameras this way. Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah, 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 ni wangu, mimi ni wangu. 